calm down. This is how all my fragrances just smell, just like a man. <laughs> Hello beautiful people and welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time watching, I'm Sheree, welcome. If you happen to be returning, you are truly appreciated. Thank you so much and welcome back besties. Today I have five new fragrances to share with you. I believe from five different houses. You guys, these were all kindly sent over to me by the scent house. I'm going to have everything. And when I say everything, I mean everything. Link in the description box for you below. Here on this channel, I do cover fashion, beauty, luxury, and lifestyle, all things fancy and fabulous darlings. So if that sounds like something that you'd be into or want to become a part of, stop what you're doing. Drop me your scent of the day, first and foremost, because I want to know what you're rocking. If this seems like your vibe and your zhuzh, go ahead and consider hitting the subscribe button. Don't stop there. Tap the notification bell. It's going to alert you every single time there is a new video on this channel. And I hope you don't stop there. I hope you take this step further and come over and say hi to me on Instagram. Without further ado, we are jumping into this video right now. Shout out to The Scent House for sponsoring today's video. I truly appreciate you and thank you for all these amazing fragrances. You guys, I'll tell you what happened. I brought them home, I opened them all, I took a little bit of notes how my initial reaction was when I first smelled them because that's what I like to do. Did it transport me? Did it send me any place? What vibes were they giving to LA? Most of these are unisex fragrances, so that's a really good thing. Check out The Scent House. I'll have their information linked down in the description box below. They carry a wide variety of different fragrances. Uh, brands that I've never really even heard of to be honest with you so I was super excited to try something new I know that you guys are always interested in hearing something new so let's explore these new fragrances okay so the first one oh my god you guys and can I be completely honest I promise you not only did I just look up a few notes and smell the fragrances I put up Google Translate right so that I can give you the accurate pronunciation of all of the names of the fragrances Girl, guy, I already forgot. It's like they say it. If I say it right then and there when they say it, I'll know the name and how to say it properly. If I wait like two days later, so I'm going to try, but seriously, no disrespect, okay? I'm trying. All right. And I do have a favorite. I do have a favorite in the bunch. Okay, and I have one that I was like, what in the world? We're going to get into it. All right, let's go. Where are my testing strips? Ta-da, she's ready. I'm so professional. Okay, so let's start with Basaso. I believe it's called Basaso. And this one is received in a box that looks like this. This is what the box looks like. And the packaging was really, really nice. It looks like it's a velvet of some sort. They have different ones on the website. This is the one that I chose. You guys, these are all blind buys for me. I have never heard of them. I have never smelt them. I have never played with them. I was like, they were like, pick out some ones that you would like to try. So I tried to like read the notes and pick some out. And that's why I say you still have to try before you buy. I was like, oh my gosh. So this one here, initially when I first sprayed it, I was like, no, what in the world? But, but, but I gave it a little bit of time and a dry down. And I said, for me, it's a unisex fragrance, but I can, oh God though, but it is good. But here's how it's good. I can get it on my guy. I could smell my guy wearing this on a hot summer day. Oh my God. And I sit it outside and I could just be laying on him and get a whiff and it's good, good. It's sexy, but for me, I wouldn't smell like this, but for him, for a man, definitely all day. It's grapefruit, it's carnation, it's mayflower, sandalwood, black pepper. It's got nutmeg, oak moss. It's a unisex fragrance. This is really, really good. I did some comparing. Some people says it reminds them or gives them reminisce of uh, one by Hermes. So that's what they said. Uh, Tree D Hermes is the one that it came close to is what they said it gave them reminisce of. For me, it just smells like a sexy man with some money. That's what I get. Don't judge me. I said what I said. That's what I get. Another one. Let's go to the one I was like, what in the world? This one is called Wonderlust. This is a one that I had heard so much about. So I was like, okay, okay. I really want to try that one because after I started Googling them, I kept hearing people say, oh, Wonderlust is where it's at. Wonderlust is really good. So when they were like, what do you want to try? I was like, send out Wonderlust. Well, you guys, they sent out Wonderlust and I wasn't wondering anymore. I don't know what it is. This is not my vibe. It's not my zhuzh. I was like, what is it? It's not bad and it has a lot of the a lot of the notes in it that you think I would like but I'm so confused. <sighs> I don't know. It's woody. 
It's really, really woody. It's bergamot, it's pink pepper, it's black currant, it's saffron, it's cinnamon, it's gayak wood, it's cedar. And that's why when I read the notes, I was like, oh my God, I'm gonna love this. I really do believe this is a year round fragrance, but it's really woody where I wonder if I would spray this in cooler temperatures. Cause right now you guys, I told you it's 80. Okay. It's like really hot. If I would feel different. The thing about it that I think is different for me, I don't even know if I showed you the bottle, but this is what the bottle looks like. The thing about it for me is it's very sharp in the initial. It's like sharp and it's very green and it just takes a moment to calm down. It's totally amped up. It's sharp, it's green, it's in your face, it has a presence. And it's just like, I'm not familiar with this presence though, you know what I mean? I don't believe I have any fragrances like this in my collection. It's very different and it's very unique for me because I don't typically gravitate towards these type of fragrances, nor do I have any in my collection, but it's peculiar because it's making me be like, but what is this? So I don't know. I'll play with it a tad bit more and see, but I was like, okay. I mean, I don't know. Um, it's not bad. I'm not saying it's bad. It's just very different. And all of the notes in there, I'm not new to black currant, bergamot, pink pepper, saffron, gayak wood, cedar. These are just a few. I'm not new to any of these. So I don't know, but I put it on, like I said, right upon receiving it. And I went about the day and I will tell you that this is a beast because it did not come off of me because all day I was like, what is that again? Like I said, it's very green. It's very different. It's very peculiar. Um, it's different for me. So if you have wonder lust, I would love to hear your thoughts on it. I move on. Now here's another one. Now you guys, right when I sprayed this, I have so much fun doing these kind of videos because it's new. I don't have a story. I don't have a memory. I don't have anything. It's just like, oh my God, this is so new. This is so fun. Again, thank you to the scent house for sending these over. You you guys, the scent house is like a uh, lucky scent. It's like max aroma. Um, you know, a di online distributor where you can get fragrances. And I don't believe these were like really, really way expensive either. Like I said, everything is going to be linked. So for accuracy, you already know, check out the description box because <laughs> I'm just saying, okay, this one came in a nice, beautiful box and I opened it up and I was like, Oh my gosh. So this is pearls, the merchant of Venice. And it looked like this. This is a box that it came in a beautiful baby blue box and it opened up up like that oh my gosh right let's do it again let's do it again let's do it again oh i already took the fragrance out you know i like to save us time over here i don't have time for long videos but this is how it looked i didn't even take this off oh this is so pretty oh my gosh this is how this looks here look at this it's so gorgeous, right i love that i played with this and one word came to mind immediately when i sprayed it on me and the word is it, okay the first word is powder as soon as I sprayed it, it smells like baby powder. Oh my gosh, it's so good. It's so soft, it's so clean, it's so fresh. And then in the dry down, it kind of takes just a tad bit of a turn, but not really where it just like engulfs itself on the body. This is different. This is very, in my opinion, okay? This is very feminine. This is very girly. This is very, um, Fufu, -fu, la la. It's just very pretty girl esque. It's warm, cozy vibes, but not in the sense of warm and cozy. I just meant like cutesy, if I should, if I could say that. Um, it's definitely just pretty. It's it's sunshine. It's pretty. It's spring. It's let's pick some flowers. Let's pick some daisies. Let's put some curls in our hair. I don't know. Those are the vibes it gives me. It's a white floral. It's got violet leaves, pink pepper, rose. It's got sandalwood, cedar. It's beautiful. It, it's beautiful. It's a beautiful fragrance, but it's very different. It's soft. And if you don't like powder, this is probably not going to be for you. It does not say powder is listed anywhere in here, you guys, but I promise you, it smells like when you brought, when you bring the baby home, wrapping in swaddling cloth or whatever, or is that what they did with Jesus in the manger? But whatever, you brought the baby home, you know what I mean? And then you go and get them out of the bath and you put that baby powder on them and you just put it on them a little bit. And then you go to hug them and they smell so fresh and clean and like powder. That's what this is giving me. It smells like fresh, clean laundry. It's sharp in the opening. It's feminine. It's soft. I don't know about longevity. I think it was pretty moderate. You know what I mean? It wasn't beast mode. It wasn't in my face, but this is one that I would say is worth the whiff. Definitely get your nose on it. Like I said, try before you buy. I always have to say that you guys, because I know I love fragrances and I love telling stories and I love putting fragrances with a story, but I always like you to be happy with your purchase. So I want you to try it, love it, and then buy it. But if you say, girl, girl, 
I'm just buying it, then just buy it. I'm not mad at you. I'm not mad at you. Okay, I move on to this one here. Now we're getting into my realm. Now we're getting into my vibe, my muse when it comes to a fragrance. This one is called Sauna Blend Oud. Okay, look at that, look at that. This is it here. This is what the box looks like. It came in this nice box. Do we care about the box? Absolutely not. We wanna know what is the juice giving. So this is what this one looks like here out of the box, out of the packaging. It's sexy, honey, it's sexy. When I opened up the box and I looked at this, I was like, ooh, <laughs> it's giving a sexy vibe. And I'm not gonna lie to you, I'm not gonna lie to you, I'm gonna tell you the truth. First thoughts right out of my mind was, oh my gosh, that looks like a Tom Ford bottle. It kind of gives me reminisce. You have to feel it. You have to know it. You have to know. It looks like uh, maybe Tobacco Vani or one of those other ones that, not Tobacco Vani. Um, it just looks like one of the other ones. You know, the TF and then Noir Extreme. Something like that in one of those. And then when I took it out and sprayed it, I was like, oh my gosh, it's a unisex fragrance, you guys. And it is so sexy. I don't know why when I sprayed it, I got, oh God, it's good. See, this is what, <laughs> this is where it's at. This is how all my fragrances just smell. Just like a man, like a sexy date night. Like, take me out. I'm ready. Let's go. And this is kind of sexy too. It's sweet. It's got some caramel and musk down in the base. Okay, that face right there. This is blood orange, lavender, bergamot, and cinnamon in the opening. Uh, it has jasmine, like I said, caramel or caramel, and vanilla in the base and some musk. It is good. It is sexy. It is a unisex fragrance. I definitely get fall, winter, early spring, a sexy, like, cold, brisk night, definitely cuddling by the fireplace. There's my story, okay? I told you, if it, if I love it, it's gonna come with a story. Uh, like I said, it's gonna give you reminisce of, is what I was reading, others were saying, and I would agree to some extent, but it still stands on its own. Uh, Black Orchid, you know how I feel about Black Orchid, Tom Ford, Tobacco Vani, uh, Ani by Nishane, Intense Cafe by Montel. It's given those type of vibes. Uh, when it comes to longevity, that is the thing I'm going to say because last night I put this on after my shower and slept in it. And you guys, I'm going to tell you the truth. I went to bed at 1 a.m. and I got up at 5. It is what it is. Um, when I got up at 5, I didn't really smell it. I had to go in really, really hard to see if I would smell it. So I would say for me, it's not a beast mode. Now, I will say this. I did not spray extremely heavy. I did not spray really, really heavy. I just sprayed like normal, like one, two, because I was just testing it out. So I'm not gonna say it's a beast malt fragrance just yet, but this right here, out of the five, this is a second one. Oh God, how do I say it? This is my second favorite one that I would say get a whiff of. Okay, I move on. Now this next one, this one right here, immediately when I sprayed it, it gave me reminisce of something. It took me back to a moment. It took me back to something, somewhere, some person I had come encounter with. I had been there before. That's the thing about fragrances. They just invoke memories of some sort and they make you just be like, where was I during this? I've been here before and I still have not been able to compartmentalize or put my mind on it. But this one right here, out of all of the five that they sent over, this is my absolute favorite. I do not know why the bottle looks different. I'm like, oh my gosh, what are we doing? But yeah, let me show you the box. This is a box here. It's absolutely gorgeous. And I love this fragrance. This is what the box, the bottle looks like here. Oh my gosh. And this is the one I Google translated and I'm like, oh. I forgot, darn. Okay, so this one here is like this. It is Neva Winged Lions, and this is a 2022 release. This is a unisex fragrance, and when I sprayed this, I was like, oh my. Now, this was long lasting, okay, because I sprayed this on last night too, and when I woke up this morning, I was still able to smell it. This is one of the ones that caught my attention because the box looked a little bit different, and I was like, okay, so I sprayed this on. This is long lasting. This light lasts forever on me. It is Jasmine Tea. <clears throat> And that was a little different for me. Jasmine tea, bergamot peony, cotton flower, freesia, Turkish rose, and violet. For me, it's pretty. I like it. I love it. I put it had a moderate uh, to long longevity because I had it on about seven hours and I was still able to smell it. So for me, that's doing pretty good. This is what the sprayer looks like. Yeah. See, I've been here before. I don't know. It almost reminds me of getting my hair done for some reason. Maybe someone would wear this there. Oh my gosh, it's good. It's nice. It's um, it's different. It's inviting. 
I don't even know how to explain it. I, I don't even know. Hold on, let me use one of my professional test strips here. I had to make sure I was still in focus. <laughs> It's really good though. It's really, really good. It's just different. I can't explain this one. I've smelt it somewhere before. It's really nice. It's, I don't think I have anything. As a matter of fact, I know I don't. I don't own anything like this in my collection. So out of the two fragrances or the five fragrances that were sent over, if I had to put them in order, this would be number one. Absolutely love this one. Sauna Blend Oud came in at number two. My Pearls came in. At number three, I really enjoyed this one as well. This is the one that smells like baby powder. Thassaso came in at number four, Wanderlust. Well, that came in at number five because that's the only spot left. That's the only spot left. So that one came in at number five. This was so much fun. I love exploring new fragrances. They are going to be linked in the description box below. All of these, if you want to try them before you buy them, I'm gonna put a link as to where you can find them to try them out. It's fun. It's fun exploring new fragrances. These are all new fragrance houses. I've never even heard of these fragrance houses before, I don't believe. So this was fun and different for me. If you enjoyed this video and this type of content, please go ahead and leave it in the comment section below so that I, you know, visit more new fragrance houses. We always get fragrance people that want to send us fragrances, but I always, you know, I stick to what I know, but this was fun. So I did have a good time doing it. So let me know if you enjoyed the video. Again, thank you so much to the Scent House for sponsoring today's video. I truly appreciate you. And thank you so much for sending these over. Until next time, besties, you know the drill. Be blessed, stay fit, and definitely stay fabulous, darlings. Thanks for watching. Bye.